If you follow Bike Industry News and you know Road Plus is now a thing, in this video we're going to take a look at the tire that was Road Plus before the term Road Plus even existed, the Switchback Hill tire from Compass Bicycles, so stay tuned for this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration about traveling with your bike, bike touring, bike packing, and gravel riding, then definitely subscribe, this channel is for you. So a couple months ago, I did a two-part video series on converting my Via, which was originally 700C, to the smaller, yet more supple and high volume 650B wheel and tire size. And to do that conversion, I used the Switchback Hill tires from Compass Bicycles. So since then, I've put a couple hundred miles on the tires, and I even took them on a stretch of the Great Divide Trail here in Montana. So I've gathered up my thoughts and feelings about the Switchback Hill tires, and I'm ready to review them just for you guys. Uh, talking about the likes and dislikes I have about these tires, starting off with the likes. The first big like, of course, is a super supple and plush ride. On the Via, I've run tires as big as 700 by 40, which were pretty good, but compared to the ride quality of a 650B by 48 millimeter tire, it just doesn't compare. There's just so much more air, so much more volume, that when you run at those tire pressures that really highlight the suspension you can get from a tire, it really doesn't compare. The 650B by 48 millimeter is just so, so nice to ride on. Another thing I like about this tire is that if you're interested in converting a 700C bike uh, to 650B, it really makes a great tire for that conversion. And the reason for that is when you do convert to the smaller wheel size, you're gonna lose a little bit of that outside diameter and that will drop your bottom bracket, uh, which may lead to pedal strike. So you kind of want the biggest slash tallest diameter tire you can fit in your bike. And at 48 millimeters, it's pretty wide. I don't lose too much. It's kind of the equivalent of running a 700 by a 25 or 28 millimeter tire on the Bia. Another thing I like about this tire is that it's a fairly fast rolling tire on pavement. The casing isn't uh, overbelt like you'd find in other uh, bike commuter tires that are really wide. And the really fine tread pattern makes it a fast rolling tire on smooth surfaces. So I think you gain a lot in terms of suspension without losing a ton in overall speed. Another thing I love about this tire is that it's awesome on gravel. Uh, I got a chance to ride it on a portion of the Great Divide Trail here in Montana. And the gravel on that stretch of road really varied. Everything from kind of fine pea gravel to even a couple sections where there were chunky baby heads. And although I did have to uh, pick my line a little bit better on the chunky parts, it still added a ton of suspension uh, going down those descents. And on fast flat sections where the gravel wasn't too chunky, uh, these tires really shine and would just kind of propel you down the road with a nice kind of cushion cloudiness. So that's it for the likes. Let's go into the dislikes. Uh, starting off with the one that probably most people will encounter right off the bat, and that is the price. Ranging from 63 bucks to $80 per tire, it is an expensive tire, but on par with uh, some other offerings that are out there. So it's not cheap. It is definitely not a cheap tire. But that said, I do think that you get what you pay for. It's actually made me fall in love with my Via again. I had just kind of put it away as my urban commuting bike, but putting these tires on there, it just feels more fun to ride now with these tires. So dislike number two, uh, this is one that I've heard from uh, a couple users, although it's not happened to me personally, and that it can be prone to flats. I've actually not had any flats with these tires since I've used them, but I do know some people who have gotten flats with these tires, and that's one thing that they complain about. It's kind of the drawback of the supple life, but me personally, so far, I've been flat free, knock on wood somewhere. And the last dislike, it's not so much a dislike, but a thing to know is that because of the relatively smooth uh, tread pattern on these tires, that this isn't gonna give you a lot of grip when things get really muddy and loose. It's awesome for kind of drier conditions, uh, hard pack, but once things get slippy, there is no uh, real tread to speak of. So you may find yourself spinning out on climbs or descent. So, so far I've really enjoyed these tires. They've completely changed how my Via handles. I can actually kind of sense a lower bottom bracket. Uh, the, the bike feels a little bit more planted. And I did just recently, riding some single track, uh, get some pedal strikes. So that, that is one thing to be aware of if you use these tires for conversion is that you have to be 
a lot more cognizant of where your pedals are, especially when there are baby heads and rocks around you. But overall, these tires are fun, they're lively, and they're pretty quick. I feel like you don't lose a ton of speed uh, by having a wider tire, but you gain uh, a lot of suspension, a lot of comfort, and a lot of fun if that can be a quality that you can gain from a tire. So if you're wanting to do a conversion and switch up kind of the feel of your bike, uh, and if your bike can fit these tires, then I definitely highly recommend them. How about you guys? Have you guys had experience with uh, the Switchback Hill or other Compass tires? How have they held up for you? And if you guys have any questions about this tire, leave those in the, in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you like this video and found it helpful, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.